it looked to me like there were three new bears. Uh, maybe not new bears, but bears that weren't there last time. There was one Batman bear, which he's the biggest bear, but I don't have any pictures of him other than at night. The real target bear was that yellow tag bear, and he hadn't been there. And, hadn't been there at all? Well, he hadn't been there in two days. Two days. Yep. In 2015, three huge adult male bears were on the property. I took the lesser of the three, but Batman and yellow tag seemed unharvestable. This is where a story of hunting strategy and conservation begins. You see, adult male bears are indicator animals telling us that the bear populations are balanced and habitat is strong. Targeting older mature males isn't just a challenge, but it's the pinnacle of conservation-based hunting. That's why I had to take this hunt to the next level. I couldn't beat these bears' noses, so in 2018, we put up a redneck yeah. blind for the sole purpose of scent control. Scent was the limiting factor keeping me from harvesting these bears. They kept smelling us. In 2018, Batman and Yellowtag were still here and bigger than ever. I never laid eyes on these bears in five years of hunting. They were phantoms that knew how to stay alive. These bears go nocturnal around the 1st of October and yellow tag already had. However, Batman had come in the daylight the day before. When I arrived at the blind, a bear was there. The wind was swirling and I knew that every minute that I was out of the blind, I was potentially educating the big bears that I knew were close. Bears make a lot of noise and often run away from bait, so this was a natural sound that I didn't feel like would spook a big bear. I'm finally settled in the blind. I got in here about three o'clock. These bears are coming in between six and seven. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. It's hot. 86 degrees, 90% humidity. It's hot in this blind, but I've got to keep the windows shut because that's the whole point. I see the first bear of the evening. It's over here about 50 yards away. I can't really tell much about it. I don't think that's one of the big ones. I think that's probably the one I spooked when I came in here. It is blazing hot in there, but I love it. Worth every second of it, it's kind of like being on a sauna. I knew that and I signed up for this. We're gonna test the old redneck tonight for scent. The sound comes just bolt off of it. They for sure see a bear. Now whether it's the big one, I don't know.
right down there. Hey, James. How you doing? Hey, David. How you doing? Wow. Good to see you, man. Good. Look at that dude, James. He's a beast. But I guess not. Look at Ryan. And we got to know your guess. He's over five. At least five. 550 pounds. He was tipping between 549 and, and 550. He is a giant. This is an older mature male. This is exactly what you're after. Man, when you've got older mature males like this in the population, it means that something is going right in terms of conservation and habitat. And it truly is a testament to the North American model of wildlife conservation that we've got these kind of animals in southeast Oklahoma. And what a, I mean, this is, this is the biggest bear that I have ever taken. And I've got, I've got some great friends. I've got my dad here with me. And uh, what an amazing night of bear hunting in Southeast Oklahoma. No other form of hunting would have allowed such selective conservation. In five years of hunting this property, I've only taken out two older mature males. Despite public perception of hunting over bait, it remains a highly effective, ethical, and fair chase method to control bear populations. Let the juveniles and females go, boys. And wait for the big one. Thanks for joining the conservation on the Bear Hunting Magazine YouTube channel. Scientific-based wildlife management through hunting is good stuff. We're the good guys that love wildlife and want to see it thrive. Join the movement and subscribe to Bear Hunting Magazine, our print magazine, and also check out our podcast, the Bear Hunting Magazine podcast. Keep the wild places wild, because that's where the bears live.